Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. I accidentally pressed going live as I put you guys up on my um, stand, which is a bit scary. But I'm here. Happy Thursday here in Australia. I hope you're doing well. I've had a bit of a busy and early morning so far. I mean, it's afternoon now, but yeah, you get what I mean. Hey, Kathy, thanks for joining. Anyone who's popping in, please say hi so I'm not crafting by myself. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Donna. Um, I'm going to see. I haven't even flicked my screen or anything ready to go live. So you guys will have to bear with me just a second. Right, this freaks me out, this whole flipped thing I feel like I'm like off to one side very weird hello Mrs Turnbull how are you um so yeah had a lot a few appointments this morning but I've done them I've delved into my use it up box again and I grabbed out this piece I need to use it so what I thought I'd do I've done some pre-thinking I've used the floral essence and I might put it on this side no uh, the floral essence um, stamp set and so that's what I have already stamped this with thank you for sharing Kathy I appreciate mm, I appreciate that yeah my hair's annoying me um yeah so already partially stamped it then I abandoned it I should, um, yeah, the card that I actually made, I haven't shared. A special kind of tired but alive. Yes, I was very cold last night. I turned off my electric blanket stupidly because I was too hot going to sleep. And then my, to my toes were so cold and I was awake for about an hour before I had to get out of bed. And that was like five. It was ridiculous. Right. I'm missing people joining. Hey, Rose. Hey, Roz. Hey, Chris. Hey, Laurie. Right. I think I've got you all. Now, because I have used the 2019 to 2021 in colours, so on this card so far, I have used uh, Rococo Rose and that is stamped off Pretty Peacock. I have grabbed out the woven, the woven threads. Of, I kick them off. I know, I know, but anyway, it's all good. I had to wake up anyway. So I've grabbed out the Woven Threads Designer Series paper that I haven't used yet. So um, that's what I've grabbed out. I really don't know where this card's going. So we're going to, as per usual, fly by the seat of our pants, do some real-time crafting, except I have pre-stamped this bit hey Kathleen um hey Gail so I've pre-stamped that um so real-time crafting flying by the seat of our pants audience participation is required you can help me make some decisions so I'm gonna flick you guys around and I'll keep saying hello as I'm going and yeah we'll see where this crafty journey today takes us and I've shut the door because everyone is home because it's school holidays so if you hear microwaves binging and children talking it is my real life children because they're home hey Delinda I can't look don't worry me I can't get up off a chair without stumbling see you all know I'm very special now I have to flick this back and then I need to flick my camera. Hooray! Right, I did that all successfully. Uh, let me see how we go here. Hmm. Hello, hello, Miss Janie. Okay. I think we're right. We're actually really... Uh, it's not playing nicely today, so I reckon someone's actually played with my... It's probably me, but you know. Sorry. Sorry for all the motion sickness. Oh, it's 
just not playing nice. Aha, uh -huh. I think I've got it, but I think, I think, okay. I think, I think, oh my God. Oh, I hope he's okay. It's just an outpatient appointment. I've got one of those outpatient appointments tomorrow. Okay. It's windy. Is it windy? It's actually not that windy here, Jamie. Oh, what happened to my screen? Second screen's playing up. It's actually not that windy here. Considering you're only like not that long up the road. Yeah. No, maybe because you've got the wind tunnel of the expressway. I don't know. I'm going to turn off the light. Okay. Rightio, rightio. Everything is good. I was telling, the, telling everyone um, I've had a bit of a busy morning. I was up really early, unplanned, and um, yeah. So up really early, doctor's appointment, um, podiatrist appointment, and now I'm here. And I finished watching a TV series and I'm continuing to play with my uh, tree cards that I showed a couple of weeks ago. Um, oh, not a couple of weeks ago, this week. So yeah, hey Elizabeth, hey Vicky. Um, so yeah, every, I've got lots of things happening in lots of different places. Now, I'm thinking I want to trim some of this dead space off this card. But first, okay, I don't, I don't think I want to trim any of the width off. I'm liking eight centimeters. Do I want to go seven and a half? Sorry, just looking at the spatially around these. Although around there, it works quite well. Let's see how we look here. I just sort of play and go. I think I like that better. So seven and a half, it's a bit, um, it's not as wide as a card. What did you finish uh, season three of? I just finished watching Chernobyl. Oh. Oh, Stranger Things. Yeah, no, never watch Stranger Things. Hey, Leanne. Um, yeah, haven't watched Stranger Things. Not really interested to go there um yeah sorry i did roll up Roz and uh check out the comments that i missed no i was watching um chernobyl which was the first episode was very confronting i wanted to scream at my screen but yeah no it was it was very compelling to watch I know I'll need down my trimmer, but if I leave it on my desk, it ends up on the floor. So, I'm going to play with some pattern paper first. So, this is the woven threads, and the colours that are in this are Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Sahara Sand, and Seaside Spray. So, one, two, three. So, all five of the in colours are in here. It was really, really good, but the first episode I said to a friend, I don't know if I'm actually actually going to be able to watch the series like watch it more than one episode at a time and I was actually able to watch a couple of episodes at a time um, sorry I'm just playing with the patterns here this is a really nice distressed look paper I'm thinking, yeah. So what I'm thinking, 
See, I really like this one, but now that I saw that pretty peacock paper, I don't like this one so... Oh, I don't like that one so much. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. But I think I like this one because it's a nice basic pattern that doesn't take away from these flowers. Um, yeah, the first episode was really hard to watch. Yes, Chernobyl is on Foxtel. I do have Foxtel and I actually watched it not on the TV because I didn't want the kids watching it. Um, just way too many questions um, and too much to explain. It was bad enough that I was learning when I watched it because I was like in primary school when it happened. But yeah, it was really good. Um, I think I'm going to do this... Okay, I'm going to do this half a centimetre smaller than a card front. So that means, uh, and I'm talking a full card front here. So 10 centimetres and that way width wise this will butt up perfectly or I can trim off a tiny bit because I've got some spatial issues there. So it gives me somewhere to go so that is that done yay i've chopped the paper can we all have a hooray for me ah right oops 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 no 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 don't bend but i do like putting you in that way can you tell i'm a bit more of a graphic design kind of girl because I certainly didn't gravitate towards that one okay what I think I'm going to do is I'm just thinking just thinking here right so that is taking off a whole centimeter so then that gives me some space to mat and I still need to stamp my flower centers there oh, I'm missing comments here sorry guys oh I know yeah, I don't know if you... It was a HBO miniseries. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm assuming it will be available on... Um, assuming it will be available on um, iTunes eventually. Because most of those things, once they've run their course... Um, are available on iTunes because I don't know what HBO um, streams to here in Australia after things have finished on Foxtel. I don't know. Hello, Miss Julie. Sorry, we're talking about Chernobyl because I've just finished watching it. So I'm still kind of digesting what I saw. Oh, I don't think I cut that straight, but you know what? It's handmade. I think this gives me a bit more room. Yes, it does. Okay. Now, I'm just going to stand this up over here. It's going to cast a shadow, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to pop this in here. I'm just thinking, I think I might want to do these centres in terracotta tile. Because I like terracotta tile and I wouldn't mind adding it in. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is there are three different flower centres in the floral essence stamp set. So the round one goes in the big line. This one goes in this one. And then this... Um, 
sort of about a quarter of a circle goes in this one so we are going to endeavor to find this one and it is right there grab a little block <laughs> yeah yay emma i'm so glad you get to see me live auto correct i understand I look at things and go, oh my God, I don't know how you get that from what I was meant to be saying. So I've got terracotta tile. And I can tell I haven't used terracotta tile a whole lot. It's a bit hard to open. Oh, actually, I need two different ones oh, I do like the terracotta tile I need the other one I can't even see what I've done myself people have uh, I just used the wrong flower center but it worked oh well um, I, oh, well, I'm glad to be showing you something that you don't have. This one, I, I got this one, I'm trying to think, I got this one at on stage out of my, um, box pick. Now, I think this one, I am going to put a gem in the middle, just putting it out there in case I forget, thinking of putting a gem. And I'm hoping these dry back just a touch, which they should. Yeah, the Woven Threads Designer Series paper I bought because I know a couple of my customers will love this distressed. Um, it's very Shelly, um, our former CEO. It's a very vintage looking, but I'm very happy that this is very vintage and in the fact that it's worn, but it just is a nice neutral pattern that doesn't take away from the flowers. Okay, so we've done our flower centers. I'm not sure about these sentiments. What I'm actually thinking is with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day, but that's a bit of an inside one. I'm not sure I want to say wishing you a blissful future either. So I'm not sure. Maybe I can grab down a stamp set that I've never used. Colour the same. Uh, yes, I can. I can certainly do that with the gem, Jamie. Oh, oh hey, Thelma. Hey, Philomena. Sorry, missing people everywhere here. Okay, so... Oh, I can't wait for it either. So I have this Well Said stamp set, which I bought and took me about three karate sessions to mount all the stamp sets. Um, so what I could do is, is there a big U? Because there's a, ah, you make me smile. So happy you're here. I sort of want something a bit linear because it's quite a linear card. Um, that makes me think of the Shakira song, Whatever, Whenever. No, I'm not going to sing for you. Um, oh, sending healing thoughts your way because I do actually have to give a, a sympathy card. Because unfortunately one of our family friends died yesterday. So I'm going to try very hard to go to his funeral. Oh, the best thing about today is you. I like that one. I do have some sympathy cards. Oh, did you like the card kit, Julie? Um... Which one? The best thing about today is you. Now I've got to find it. 
the best thing about today is you. Well, I can tell I've mounted them and not taken them off because they really want to stick. Pop the two back. Hello, Miss Lorraine. You on your lunch break? Oh, that's okay. He had been ill for a while and it is a, we didn't think he'd quite go so quick. Um, but it is a blessing that he is no longer in pain. So my mum told me yesterday. Yes, I played with it when I had a special visit um, from our DDM. She came and visited one of my team meetings and we had a play with it then. And yeah, a super simple card kit. Haven't bought it yet. Now, colours, colours, colours. Or do I just pop it straight on here? Or do I make a little flag? Sorry, I'm perusing my punches and seeing what may work. And I'm thinking a flag may be the best. Uh, demonstrator Development Manager, Jamie. One of the awesome, well, they, we have one for majority of Australia except for Queensland and she is amazing. Mm, okay, suggestions. Yes, the kit is super easy. Suggestions. Do I stamp it straight on like in terracotta tile? Sorry, I'm a bit lost about this one because it does just nest in perfectly there. Look, I'm just going to go for it. I know you say vellum. I know you say emboss. But what colour would I emboss with? I'm just going to go for it. I could. Now, if I was smart, I could clear emboss it, you know, Jamie. Look at this. I prepared this earlier. Okay, and because I was playing with my clear embossing yesterday, let's get my heat tool. I love that everything with it is within a hand's reach here. Just going to preheat this. Yes, all the dark green. Ow, that is now hot. That is now preheated. Yes, and clear emboss it. That's correct. That's my plan, Miss J. I am at the very end of my clear embossing powder and it has so much crap in it. I don't know if you can see, but there is a whole heap of crap that shouldn't be in there. Um, right. Did I ever get that spare piece of paper? <laughs> well, we'll have to wait and see. No one has said anything um, from the upcoming catalogue, Julie. So, I don't know. They did only say Shelley's kit was going to be a one-off. And one thing I'd like to get on here and do is play with the kits that have been non long neglected in my stash. And do some kit making. I actually mounted that fairly straight. The sticker and all. Right. Pray for me, please. Now, it's crooked. But that's okay. And I forgot my embossing buddy. But it's only clear embossing powder. Oh, everything picked up nicely there. Let's get this melted. So it's handmade, not Hallmark. Ow, burning fingers. Just a little. It's 
So I hope you saw that change. Okay. So I'm going to, I don't know if you can see that shine. Just a touch of shine. I could have done it better, but it's handmade. Yes, I heard something about the trimmer too. But, well, we've got a trimmer coming, but that's all we know. Ah, now I am going to be very brave and put this on the floor. Right, it's on the floor so I can't kick it over. Hello, Mr. Bobby Fort. How are you? Hello, Miss Linda. Yes, yes, yes. I mean the new paper trimmer too, Julie. We have one coming. But I don't know exact details, so I'm not going to speak of it when I don't know exact details. Okay. So, now I'm thinking we definitely need to do a clear faceted gem because you know I'm a little addicted to those at the moment and I'm going to take Jamie's advice and we're going to use Perfect Peacock to colour one of these big ones in. Now if I'm correct, oh Pretty Peacock rather, so this is my Pretty Peacock and I'm just going to do some colouring, colour this baby in, that looks beautiful. Look how quick and easy that was to colour. Oh. Right, that is that done. Stampin' Blends are amazing things. Um, I don't know that we're not allowed to tell, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jamie won't tell anyone. She's been around stamping up circles for probably as long as I have, pretty much. It's just she won't commit and join and become a demonstrator. Although she has way too many demonstrator friends to choose from, if she did. <gasps> Look at that. That is just to die for. Right. Oh, I got a little bit on my hand. I thought I might. Okay. Look at that beautiful thinking a terracotta tile card base so I will get that ready because I do not have a previously prepared one yes you are an honorary demo that is exactly correct and Jamie and I take great joy in looking through the catalogue when it comes in and we ooh and we are and we give our opinions and say, oh, I don't really like that. Yes, we have a lot of fun. Although I love going through the catalogue with lots and lots of people because I like hearing everyone's opinion because everyone's opinion is so varied and different and it um, makes me look at things that I may not have liked through new eyes. So now I still think I need this out. So it's going to go on the keyboard now and oh I can't use my stamparatus because it's got a stamp in it. So we're going old school for squaring up my card here because I got a great tip from my downline Helen who is quite often in here. Oh thank you for reminding Jeannie. Right. Hello, Miss Linda. Okay. 
Right. So we have this. So it's just a hint because we've used it like three times. Although I haven't used the peacock three times, but that's a big hit in the background and a little hit in the flower. Um, and this could totally be a birthday card. The best thing about today is you because it's your birthday. You can sort of write whatever you want. Hello, Mizzo. Oh, isn't... Isn't Lolly Kitty watching? Okay. I want to matte the background. And I'll probably pop it up on dimensionals. But I'm not quite sure. You know what's coming to my brain, people. And it's vellum. Because that's not adding another colour. Because I've used a lot of the Rococo Rose. I've used a lot of the... Peacock and I've used a lot of or not a lot but I've used enough of the terracotta tile and I don't particularly want to add any more green so that is my thought process which leads me to my favorite thing of all time which would be vellum now I have some scraps here so oops so scraps always get tested first no big scraps so always look at your scraps first oh that piece of vellum's been wet hmm. how did that happen well, it's only a few pieces yay vellum oh oh miss lola puppy i think miss louisa is asleep too because I got home earlier and the boys razzed her up and then she came over and had cuddles with me and she was jumping and uh, all kinds of things that Miss Louisa isn't normally allowed to do when she's working with David. So let me just grab my measurements. So we cut this down to seven and a half. So I'm going to make this eight. And then I need this now. So I made these 12.85 centimeters. So then I'm going to make it 12.35. Oh, that crinkly piece is not going to go through. Yes, our A4 cardstock is odd, but we make it work. So that is half a centimetre. <gasps> Do you know what? I totally stuffed that up. Look at that. Look at that. I think someone needs to go back to school to measure. Like really? There's a whole centimetre out. Do you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to put this down to make sure. Right. It's okay. That piece will be used. And this piece, I think, can go in the bin. I don't often throw out vellum, but that piece was warranted. And then my scraps go back in the container. So, you did my process of using vellum um makes sense about why i use vellum because i know i don't normally use vellum for vellum's sake as such i use it because i don't want to add another color to a project and the translucency of it sort of mutes the color underneath so i'm hoping makes total sense great Oh, no, it will not. No, 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 no. I do love that centerpiece. And I am thinking about scattering a few others as well. Just because I can. But they will be special ones. Oh, I was using this last night. Okay. Come on. I'm teasing out a little glue goober. I think you can see it there. Oh, come on. Uh, I wouldn't say vellum queen. It's just, 
if I'm not happy with something, <laughs> I can't really do this, but let's do it on this layer. Yep, there's a big squeeze happening here. I also don't know if I'm right at the end of this, quite frankly. I was using it on foil last night. And I was using teeny tiny bits. So it's sort of been on its last legs. And no, Jamie, I'm not getting sticky hands. See, oh, there we go. I fixed it. I got the goober out. Woohoo! Right. Oh, it's lunchtime for the boys. I have no idea what they're having. I hope they enjoy it. I made myself an egg and cheese before I came on. Because I was getting peckish after my busy morning. I really should be putting this... Oh, no, I can see it. It's fairly even. Just running my fingers without slipping because that's... The issue with vellum is you can slip, like with foil, as I found out last night. I keep on teasing you. Tombow surgery, yes, I just had to remove the goober. And it's just gentle persuasion. Okay. Uh, that is all I need because I'm going to put that layer on dimensionals. Great. Okay. So this card, fairly simple. Just it took a bit of decisions to get there because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But that's okay. We got there in the end. Now, I, because this is a long piece, I am probably going to be quite liberal with dimensionals. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Are you back, Jenny? Yes, I thought it was a great way to use the piece. When I did it at the time, I got very frustrated and discarded it, which is why I didn't invent the Use It Up box. I just created one in my space. So it just goes there so I can percolate and then um, I can come up with the project idea later. So I was trying to do... and. I was trying to do something with the in colours and the card that I actually ended up making, I ended up using uh, the Pretty Peacock rather than the Rococo Rose. So we've used, what, three? Three out of the five in colours on this card. So I know a lot of people aren't huge fans of the colours, but um, I know a lot of people just need to use them to see how they come together. Oh yes, 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 I always do cut the sides and I have actually used them on the big 30 card project that is currently underway beside me. I have, I once I do this, I will show you. I think someone just tipped out Lego. Oh no, it was the blender. And just scared the crap out of my youngest. I love that I can translate what's happening in my house to you guys. So, and you guys have absolutely... I cannot get this even to save my life. And now someone's getting into trouble. Okay. No, I'm still not happy. Having um, spatial issues today, apparently. Uh, and it is... No, it's not. 
thank God I haven't pushed anything down. Okay, yes, I think I've got it. I think, I think. Right. And it's staying this way. Uh, yeah, that's good. We will leave that like that. So this is the... Oh, sorry. This is the current state of my 30 card project. And yes, there is a video to come. Yes, they do look awesome together. That's right. I just... And having the... It ties in the layer with the front of the card. But I am going to grab... I'm thinking, because these have shine, but in a different way. These are the uh, In Colour Faceted Gems. And what I thought I might do is grab a couple of the pretty peacock ones and ooh, pop them, uh, just a couple of the two. Mm, do you know what? I don't think I want to now. I was going to, but I don't think I am. Yes, I know I was having spatial issues with the side, not the up and down. Although it is a bit skew if, but handmade. Okay, so do I use these ones or do... <gasps> ooh, or do I use the pretty peacock in the noble peacock ones? So do we use... Faceted or rhinestones? Or, okay, Jamie, uh, I haven't got any teeny tiny ones, though. I only have bigger ones. I've used all my teeny tiny of the clear faceted gems. I need to make sure they're on my shopping list. While you guys vote... You don't think the card needs it? Clear faceted gems are on my shopping list. You don't think the card needs it? Thank you for sharing, Philomena. Thank you, Leanne. Needs tiny ones. Well, these are tiny. These are teeny tiny. But I'm sort of with you. Because we've got some shine here, we've got some shine here. So does the card really need it? I just, I need to use my embellishments more. But I think the middle one is so prominent, it might actually take away from it. You don't think so. Okay, never too much. I could win because Stella the leaves. Right, done. Thank you, Thelma. Thank you, thank you. Win because Stella. Because that is something... Um, sorry, I haven't used it in a while. And it may reactivate some of that green like I did in our last project. So it's going to be really subtle. Or not so subtle. Because then this one flower has all the specialness. It's not reactivating the green, but it is giving a lovely um, subtle detail. God, I love Wink Stella. I didn't even think of it, Thelma. I'm not reactivating the green because it hasn't um, been freshly stamped. This is like weeks and weeks, maybe even a month old. Okay. Two layers of Winker Stella, I think, is plenty. Oh. That's not good to hear, Jenny. Okay, so don't know if I can catch 
that in the light. Tell me if you can see it. Oh, sleep well, Rose. I hope your headache's gone in the morning. Okay, so before we finish up, details on the back of the card. I think I'm going to use up this whole sheet and a bit more doing those 30 cards that I'm doing. I hope to film the video later. Oh, good, you can see the wink in the video because I'm on a delay on my second screen. Okay, so I'm going to put away all these bling. Oh no, because we did use that one, so I'll leave it out. Okay, so I've used this, I have used this, and I used, I used well said as well. And I used my stamp and blend marker. So fairly simple supplies, one piece of pattern paper, one stamp set for the majority of the image, a sentiment from uh, Well Said, one bling, oh, I didn't put in my wink of Stella, my wink of Stella. So fairly minimal supplies, oh, and the vellum, yes. That's okay, my pleasure, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, as always, so I don't feel so alone in crafting. I am going to toddle off. I'll take a nice photo of this, so when I share it tomorrow, um, or tomorrow in my time, you guys will have a nice photo and with all the colours that I used. Do you guys like that I show the colours that I use uh, in my photos because there's no use me sharing it unless it's useful for you guys so I'm just wondering if it is that's okay Filma my pleasure yes okay Philomena that's good to know that it is useful Okay, awesome. Well, I will continue to do that. Not that it takes much for me to take that photo. It's just I made a big change recently in the way I uh, take my photos. So I just wanted to um, just wanted to see if it was helpful. But I hope you have a lovely evening or afternoon or morning if you're watching this on the replay. And I will catch you uh, sometime over the weekend. Thanks so much for supporting me. I do appreciate it. Hey, Josie, just signing off. Oh, thanks. Okay, cool. That's good to know, Julie. Good to know. My pleasure, Jeannie. I will catch you guys in a few days. Bye.